How's it going everybody? This is Be The Bush. Let's say you're in the market for a battery bank. You go on Amazon and you look for something like 10,000 milliamp hour, whatever that is. And when you get it, it looks good enough, right? This is a solar battery bank charger. In particular, this is the brand F Dorla. Comes with a little micro USB cable and this will actually charge with the sun. But when you get something like this and it says 10,000 milliamp hour, how can you trust that it's 10,000 milliamp hour? Will you as a consumer ever open this up and check how much capacity is inside? This is exactly what I'm gonna do today. Here's a power bank in the sun. When it's charging, the green LED is on. Although you don't know how fast it's charging, you can see if I cover this up, it'll stop charging after a little while. And then if I turn it back on, the green turns on and it's charging again. I'm gonna see if I can uh, disassemble this a bit and uh, see what's inside. This requires a little bit of convincing. It doesn't really want to just come right off after you remove the screws. Alright, so just two wires from the solar panel. Two wires over here going to the LED lights and two wires going to this battery pack. You'll notice it says 4000 milliamp hour, but there's two of them. See? One, two. So when you look in the back of this thing, it says 10,000 milliamp hour. So unless somehow the second one is 6000 milliamp hour, which I doubt it is because it's the same exact size, this thing is actually an 8,000 milliamp hour battery pack, which is not bad. I guess they just kind of fudged it a little bit and, uh, well, basically lied a little bit about it and um, increased their capacity by about 25%. What I'm going to do is just cut this right here. I'm doing this so I can measure this solar cell's output power given some sun. So I got it connected over here and you can see that uh, the green light is on, it's charging. Uh, when it's flat like this, this is not directly facing the sun, it says it's showing 8.8 .8 milliamps. Now if I kind of tilt it towards the sun a little bit more, 23, 25, 27, 29, 30. The sun is like almost setting so I'm getting 27 milliamps by uh, having it vertical like this. Now knowing this, will you still buy this? Whenever I see these solar chargers online, they are pretty much like a commodity because there's so many different companies that offers the same thing. Sometimes they just rebrand it and then they change the price a little bit. This thing is going for about $17, $18 right now if you uh, add the coupon code. By the way, if you're interested in this thing, even though it says 10,000 milliamp hour, but it really only has 8,000 inside, you can check out my affiliate link down in the video description below. Now, some people might not want to buy this just based on principle. They don't want to have a product that says 10,000 milliamp but really inside is something else. It's kind of like stabbing yourself in the foot on purpose because sometimes it's just uncomfortable having something that is not what it says it is. Does this make sense? It's kind of like when you go to the grocery store and you buy a loaf of bread and it says 10 pieces and then when you bring it home it's actually this shortened loaf with only eight pieces of bread, so you're short two pieces. So for this thing, you're expecting 10,000 milliamp hour. You can do a little bit of math if you know how to do it, and you can go, oh yeah, it can charge my phone, you know, two and a half times or something. But when it comes down to practice, maybe it's only gonna charge it like 2.2 times. But as a typical consumer, you probably won't even notice this. So most people that buys this is not gonna realize that it's slightly smaller than the capacity that's said over here. This thing looks slightly rugged. It is water resistant, but I don't think it's waterproof based on me disassembling it. So there it is. Whenever you go buy these no name brand products, people are not gonna check. So sometimes you just kind of have to expect that these products, sometimes they're going to lie. Now, when I discovered that the capacity is a little bit lower, I didn't go, oh my gosh, I lost money on it because you know, they sent this to me as a sample. So, you know, I can't be too angry about it when I go, oh, it's only 8,000? It's only 8,000 milliamp hour. I was still gonna use it. Don't forget to give me a like, 
Comment down below, let me know if you've ever discovered anything that is not exactly as described whenever you order it from Amazon. And as always, don't forget to push that subscribe button and ring that bell icon. Thanks for watching.